Yeah, hi. So now, basically, we came already on the easy access. So here, accounting. And uh, if we go to the, this is called a, a user level. So in the user level, you are going to maintain the production units here. So let's say fixed assets, environment, current settings. So here, if you look into this uh, here, so um, this is under easy access. So how to go uh, into here is, let's say you have your an accounting, financial accounting and fixed assets and environment, current settings. This is where exactly you are going to maintain the define unit of production depreciation. So this is where you will maintain the depreciation production units where we exactly worked on in our Excel in my business scenario. Yeah. So now if you look into the so you can give access to this this may be a monthly job or one-time job it depends on your uh, business user how they are maintaining this so my case in my business scenario i i in upfront i already detailed i am not going to explain the actual values plan values how to derive these it is part of casting yeah so now um that is uh, if you want a controlling topics yes I am also much familiar on those topics and uh, those will come in the next uh, videos. So maybe, um, yeah, you try to ask some more questions. If you have any, then uh, I'll try to answer if, you, if it is anything. So here, when you double click on this, you can see. So what you are seeing here, it's if you double click on this, you can see your company code and uh, this is your company code and then this is the depreciation key and the number of units. So now if you look into here, this uh, depreciation key. Now what happened? You see here, this is the depreciation key you have created because it's the number of units production. It automatically shows here for the users. So now they need to go here to number of units. So this is where they need to maintain. So I click on the new entries and I will go into my Excel here in my business scenario. So I am going to, I maintain exactly the same, copy all this, but this column will never call because it's a system calculator. You see, it grayed out already. So, total unit. So, this is a, okay. So, the system is already calculated total number of units. So now I click on save. So now it says company code 002 not active. So these are all actual actually is a warning. Huh? Just ignore this, click OK. So let's say if you want to check other depreciation key, what it is. Also you can see here. So this is exactly I also did before I showed to you guys because I want to show you step by step. So I created another one. So now you can see this is the production units, how you are maintained. Please note this column here. If you look into the production units, so if you look into here, the production units, these production units is all actually is grayed out. It means the system automatically calculate using this remaining units what you are maintaining so in this case yes you maintain these all remaining units here so now the system that this is a period units is, is fixed all over the period then uh, yes so now let's go
click go back so now in the next video i am going to show you on how to post and here so the next step is posting business transactions simulating the depreciation in my next video thank you guys